Former First Lady Lee Hyo, the widow of President Kim Dae-jung, arrived in North Korea earlier today. Her visit is largely aimed at providing humanitarian aid for North Korean children, but some are hoping it would also contribute to easing strained inter-Korean relations. Our Han Da-eun has this report. Former First Lady Lee Hee-ho appeared upbeat before boarding a charter flight bound for North Korea on Wednesday. Prior to her departure, she took pictures with her 18-member delegation and said she's visiting the North with the hope of healing the deep pain of Korea's 70 years of division. She also said she hopes her visit will serve as a catalyst for the resumption of stalled inter-Korean talks, mentioning in her remarks the historic agreement adopted on June 15th between North and South Korea in the year 2000. <laughs> Ms. Lee said she's crossing the border with the hope the two Koreas will embrace the June 15th spirit and work towards reconciliation, love and peace. Ms. Lee's visit is mainly focused on providing aid to North Korean children. She's expected to visit children's hospitals and daycare centers in Pyongyang and hand out medicines and school supplies. She's also scheduled to visit a woman's hospital to provide the necessary support. Whether she will meet North Korean leader Kim Jong-un remains unknown, but pundits say the chances of an encounter are high as her visit is the result of a handwritten invitation from Kim sent last December. If the two do sit down for talks, Kim's remarks could become an important indication as to how inter-Korean relations will unfold in the future. The former first lady is set to hold a press conference on Saturday, the day she returns to Seoul. 한다은 아리랑 뉴스